welcome back to today's video so i'm going to be taking you along with me for the day it's raining again i hate it honestly i just wish it would stop raining today me and mum are going on a hack it is it was a lovely day and then it's decided to pour down so that's fabulous but i don't know how our questions have got through this winter because it's been ridiculous the mud the wet I don't even want to talk about it. We're going to go on a hack. We've got a brand new DIY livery joined us on the farm. And she's got a beautiful mare called Lady. She's absolutely stunning. I will take you round for you to meet her in a minute. And meet beautiful Lady. Um, but me and Mum are just getting our tack. Well, I'm getting my tack. Mum's just finishing up the stables. And I've brought a barrel round just because it's easier to carry. If you little hack for you if your attack room is not near your stable take a barrow with you it's so much easier take a barrow with you and just load all your tack in a barrow i'm gonna be taking nebo mum's gonna be taking danny and yeah let's get their tack right so i've got my saddle I've got the bridles i put it in the barrow this saddle is so heavy dressage saddles are just so heavy aren't they the sun has come out. <laughs> Yay. Got our barrel full of everything. How are you feeling now the sun's out? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> love the sun. Don't we need to address sun. something, Mum, don't we? What? We do wash and our hair's not actually this greasy. No, this <laughs> We've got treatments in. Oh, you know, nice. treatment Fridays. <laughs> Lovely. She's got a warm blood dad and thoroughbred mum who recently passed away. Uh, she's lovely, she's kind. She's my fair baby. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully the young talented Fee is going to start jumping her. Yeah, hopefully we can get her to go to Sunshine Tour and Nibbles. Yeah. You updated on their progress. <laughs> yeah, we can we can vlog it when we go and take yeah, her jumping. <laughs> and at Radley Green. Hat. Yep. Not yeah. too muddy. Trying to show Baby Green new route. <laughs> but Hopefully it dries up and then we'll be able to show her more each week. And we'll help get Lady fit for her competition season with Fee. <laughs> so if I don't see you again, we'll catch up next Tuesday for Lady and Fee's first jump together. Woo! <laughs> Ready for the field. Does anyone else just leave their hat on after riding? Because it just keeps your head warm. Yeah, I need to rug him. 
So we're just taking Nebo out to the field and Dan. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go back and grab Little Legs, AKA Malegro, um, because he's gonna start playing up because he's gonna be in on his own. Well, he's not. He's in with the other liveries, but because he, he loves these lot. I wish I could say the same, that they love him too. <laughs> where the stables are and get my leg row because I've got to just put a little sheet on him because the weather's been really weird like when we were hacking out it was lovely blue skies and then we keep having like really sudden downpours of rain but then it's like really heavy rain so um I'm gonna get little legs but I'm gonna put because it's not that it's not that um cold but I'm gonna put a rain sheet on him just because obviously he's not clipped but he's not that fluffy Excuse how dirty he is. I'm so sorry, but where he's so small, he just gets filthy. Let's put a row on you. This rug needs to go in the wash. Oh, I wish my leg would just grow a hand taller because look how cute he is. Which I do ride him and exercise him, but I just feel a little bit big on him. And people say, Oh, no, you don't. Like, you don't look big on him. But no, like when you feel big on him, and I'm like, Oh, but he loves going out on a hack. Like I took him out on a hack yesterday and he's all like jittering on the floor. And I say jittering all the time, but it don't really make sense. But you know what I mean? Like, um, trotting really quick on the spot and being like oh let me go let me go this is so much fun had a little canter his ears are forward the whole time he absolutely loves it he's so much fun but yeah hopefully but I think it's just where he's young as well he feels a bit small and gangly so once he sort of builds a bit more muscle and toughens up a little bit and gets a little bit more bulky I probably won't feel as big I just think it oh I have to like block him in. Now you go that way. I've not gone the electric up yet. Oh, he's so small. <laughs> Where he's so small, we literally have to like barricade him in to everything. Sorry. I think it's just where he's so low to the ground that it feels like I'm living my childhood dream of Shetland Grand National Racing. <laughs> because, oh, he's so much fun to ride. I'm like, come on then. Right, no, yeah. Hopefully, when he gets a little bit older and he gets a little bit more stockier and puts a bit more weight on, because I felt like that with Honey. When I first backed Honey, I just felt like she had no shoulders. I felt massive on her. I feel like you just do with youngsters, don't you? You just feel massive. And until they get that, that little bit more older and they sort of bulk up a little bit and get that a bit more confident at riding. And, yeah, so... And the saddle I've got on him at the moment, it's a 16 inch, but I have to be really careful because his back's really short. But then I think he could get away with a 16.5. I'll, I'll try one, or maybe just one with a longer tree, just because it feels like a little bit choppy to sit in. So, yeah. And when I ride it with honeys, it's not too comfortable. So I would like a little bit more of a comfortable saddle, but. I'm not that bothered about what I do with him. Like a lot of people say, oh, you could do some showing with him, but I don't know if he's too small. And people, I know people say, oh, you should see like people that do showing and their, their legs are like so long on the little ponies and everything like that. And I'm just like, no, but I don't know. We, I'm going to see how he matures because he will get a bit more stocky and built up. But yeah, he is only small. I think he's like 13 hands maybe but he feels smaller than honey because he's got no wither um but yeah and now i'm gonna go around to find mum because i don't know if she wants to get lunch now or if she wants to muck out our ponies first then get lunch 
but I don't know, we've got the whole day, so we'll find out, won't we? I got Simon to um, drill um, Jack in a barrel because he's really fussy and he doesn't eat out of a hay net and he won't, he re, he'll eat out on the floor but only a certain amount and then he's like, oh, it's dirty on the floor. So he drilled, I don't know what this is called, what is it called? What's that? That thing called? Just a bolt. Oh, well, he didn't drill it because it's, it's a, um, concrete. It's, it's concrete, so we had to bolt it. We bolted it to, just so it's movable, but he can't knock it around his stable. And he's eating out of it, which stable is great. Stable modifications. Yep, yeah, as always. Because we've got lots of barrels around the farm, all sort of just scattered about. So, but that's been really good because I find where the pony hallway is so narrow, if I put the hay on the floor, which I like them to eat on the floor and reach down with their necks, especially with Jack where he's older, I find that all the hay just goes in the corridor. And he's so fussy. Once he's on the floor for a bit, he's just like, I don't want that now. I'm like, come on, Jack. Can't do that. Mum's got some rugs. More rugs. We, um, well, Bev, Bev was uh, selling a load Bev of rugs. Bev sadly lost her, um, her mare. Which was Lady's mum. Which was Lady's mum. So she had loads of six foot six rugs that's Danny's size. And so we did need a load of six foot six Danny. rugs for Danny just because... I don't know, I feel like all Danny's rugs just randomly went missing. So we've now bought a load and now we've got too many rugs. What's happened over the years is um, any retirements that are cold, I've ended up sticking yeah. Danny's rugs on, so I'm sure the rugs. Bunny's mucking out. just going to go around and take the tack round and put that in the tack room. We're now in the calf. Stop making it for you. Mm. Back from lunch. I'm just going to get my coat on. I've got a drink from the shop, but I feel like all like lethargic now. You know when you sort of step off the yard and go get a bit of lunch or go shopping or I don't know get a bit of food or anything when you come back it's like you sort of you leave like as if you're finished for the day and now I'm just like deflated like oh, now I've got to get them all in so, <laughs> so now we've got to get them all in I love them but, oh I'm tired but now yeah it's hard to when you come out of it to zone back in because and then you get all cold again she's been in the car and yeah but let's get my coat on let's get warm again and get these ponies in and rugged up and ready for tonight i did bring because we've got some sort of like hay gain slow feeder but i'm not too sure if i actually want to use it for like the slow feeder thing because you get like a little um tray that goes in it that goes lower um just because i find it a bit hard with the clips and everything so i don't know if it's just i've bought it around halfway and it's a um wheel the barrow around but it's just to keep nebo's hay sort of like a bit tidier in his bedroom so i'm just going to put that little barrel in the corner because it's got some sand in the bottom so it won't move around and then he can have his hay freshly in there. I'm going to bring that round. And then I've got a few pony rugs that I need to chuck in the washing machine. Like fleeces and stuff. And yeah, and then I'm going to get the ponies in. But I've actually got to muck out the pony stables as well. But then I could only muck one out and be shaky. Because I've only got the one coming in tonight. Because <laughs> Honey and Jack go out at the weekend. Because Honey loves going out. And Jack's like a little bit older where I've got to limit him with laminitis. But then I do like him to go out at the weekend. So at the moment, I'm putting him out. And then in the summer, I might have to limit him a little bit more and go on his grass track. But yeah, let's get all that done. And I'm going to go bring the bar around and get the rugs in the washing machine, like the fleeces. And then I'm going to go get the hay gain slow feeder, which Simon has brought round for me. I didn't even realise. But this is what I mean. This is 
what it is. I did have my tripod, but I don't know where I've put it. Maybe I've left it around the other side. But this is the hay gain. So it's a slow feeder and it comes with a tray. Um, I'll show you one minute. Let me get it off. It comes with this tray that you clip in and then like the more they eat, the lower it go. But I don't know if I'm going to use that. I'm not too sure. But I'm going to put this in Nebo's bedroom. Right in that corner there. Just because I got a barrel in um, chuck stable and I think it works really well. So I'm going to see if this fits nicely in the corner. That's better. And also I feel like it's got a bit more space because when he has so much hay it ends up everywhere. So yeah that's that there but i'm not too sure i might put this in might not but he doesn't really i don't really need to limit the speed that he's eating so i might just leave that for now and i need to change out these trainers because these are clean because i went to the cafe in them but let's get him some fresh hay i've decided to actually try him with the little sort of grill and i've just pulled it through but what i found because i don't know if anyone else has got one of these but i find it's really tight fitting to fit these in because these go straight to here on the bar up here so what i've done is i've attached string to each one so then it's a little bit easier to clip on and it's loose because i find it really tough to do but yeah so that's what it looks like and then when he eats that that will just go lower and lower and lower and then yeah the weight of this bar will just go all the way down to the bottom until he's at it all so we'll see how he gets on with that tonight. Because when Ebo is Welshy Cobb, he can put a little bit of weight on. So maybe it's a good idea for him to have a bit of a slow feeder. Because at the start, I was like, mm, don't know. But I think it's more of the, I don't think I'll be able to do the clips because I find it really difficult. And I don't know if I'll be able to keep it up every day. But if he's got the string, it should be quite easy. So yeah, we'll, I'll give you a little update on that. But that's what I've done for him to for tonight. So we'll see how he gets on with it. Yeah, I look crazy with my two different colour <laughs> scrunchies in my hair. But I'm just walking up the field to grab Nebo in as he's showing off. And then... <laughs> getting them ready for bed, aren't we, my little bubba? So, because Nebo gets mud feet, but I have to cream all his legs and stuff, but he's not got it at the moment. I just like to be precautious. Precautious, cautious. Get his hair growing up already. <laughs> um, so here, get Thermotex leg wraps on, and then he's got to have a rug. But it's not that cold tonight, but his hair's growing back already. Look, look at his face. And he's going in his stable. Had his legs all done. Oh, not ready for bed. Just gonna put his grey thin one on. Yeah. Just tuck the neck inside it. What should we put on you, Mister? Hey, Mister. What should we put on you? Let's have a look. Ready for bed. Now I'm just putting his Thermotex leg wraps on, which keeps his legs all nice and dry from being out in the wet field. His leg wraps are all on. Ready to go in the stable. Test out your new hay feeder. See what you think about it. See what he thinks. Oh, he's like, what is that? That's it. 
It's not scary. <laughs> Having your dinner? Mmm. Nibbles. Having his dinner in here. Oh, <laughs> hello. Let me see your dinner. Oh, that looks lovely. There we go. It's got his little hay bane. Now we've got to head round to my leg grows barn and muck out the pony block. <laughs> there you are. This little rug. <laughs> Stables are now done. Little legs is all in his stable, ready for the night, isn't you? Um, like in his little barrel. And then this stable's done. This just needs to be swept. And yeah, they're all, they're all finished for tonight. She needs to put the barrel back. Yeah. That's me done for the day. Just quickly topped up their the rest of their waters just because they were like halfway full. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's me done. So thank you so much for coming along with me today on this little manic day of doing random stuff. <laughs> but yeah, if you enjoy, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. But please subscribe. It really helps me out. And it gets others to see my videos and also that makes encourages me to post more videos more frequently so please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to follow me on instagram which is fifi's underscore welsh underscore ponies bye <laughs>